Welcome back to HBO Girls Rewatch. I'm Amelia. And I'm Evan. And oh my god, we've made it to the end of season, season three. three. Oh my god, episode 12, Two Plane Rides. It's crazy because our life is at the end of a season right now too because we are moving next week. I know. I wonder if we'll get one more episode in this apartment or not. Is this gonna gonna be the last backdrop? We'll have to yeah, find out. Yeah. Okay. Video watchers, this might be the last time you're seeing this, or <laughs> it might watchers not. YouTube watchers now. YouTube watchers. So sorry about that. The way since Spotify stopped showing video, everybody's listening on Apple now. I see you. Interesting. I. I it is interesting. Is that bad or good? I have no idea. You say I'm, interesting, but what do you mean? How is it interesting? I think it's just like an interesting fact. It's something to think about. Oh, do you know what? We have to let Spotify know about this. <laughs> I know. They, it, they're going to lose a lot of listeners by not giving us video because we went into a platform. But you know what? We ca- simply can't a be new talking platform. about distribution Sorry, right sorry, now. sorry. Okay, so two things really top of mind. Yesterday, Amelia and, and I signed an apartment for a gay couple that's 60 years old that made us jump through hoops. To prove our worthiness, which we did. We proved our worthiness and we love you um, with all our hearts. And thank you for having to prove ourselves because we actually learned a lot about our friendship from it. Yeah, yeah. Looking for an apartment has been absolute hell. We found a place on Monday and I thought everybody was really into it. And then I went to yoga for one hour and then I came back and everybody and their boyfriend was on the couch being like, no. And I was like, well, this is Yeah, you did come back. I mean, you did do an 8 p.m. yoga class. What is so shocking is that you actually took a yoga class that late. But I also will say this journey in general, it's kind of like I've never watched um, Lord of the Ring franchise, but I assume it's like they went on a really harrowing task and they might not start off as friends, but they ended that way. <laughs> and it's kind of like even if we weren't all friends to begin with, we're friends to end with now well, after this journey. we were friends to begin with. I know, but it's better for the plot. <laughs> I think it was really hard for me to be coming off of an SSRI while actively trying to uproot my life mm-hmm. once more. But I'm feeling really good. My eye... I did have warn you for, what, three months? <laughs> my eye has been twitching nonstop all week. And then as soon as this gay man was like, you have a place to live, my eye settled. It was amazing. Yeah, sometimes it all it takes is one 60-year-old gay man to turn your smile upside down. I know. Or your frown upside down. I am so excited for this episode. I am shaking. I've only had one coffee. Oh, my, it's pure excitement this we're, time. We're going to do a new thing where instead of that bumper at the end where we're like rate and review, we are going to read reviews we have <laughs> on our podcast. We're going to read one nice one and one mean one. I love when you go, slip into industry jargon. <laughs> you said bumper. It's like I have no idea what that means. And there's no way anyone I just said does. bumper towards y'all. No, yeah, um, but that's, I think that's good. I think we can move this podcast now into an educational category yes. too. <laughs> um, but no, this is going to be really fun. And if you want your review read, leave us one on Spotify or Apple, it could be so fun. I love um, when you go news anchor. Should we start? <laughs> should we start with positive one? I'm starting off with a negative one. Oh her. well, we have one negative one. I'm like, I just gave you a review as a news anchor. Oh, my review gotcha, towards gotcha, you. Gotcha. Actually, now review me. <laughs> okay, my review for Evan is their outfit is ridiculous and perfect. I know. I, I wish video listeners could come at from home because I'm wearing nursing shoes, but they're really <laughs> cute. I'm going to describe. Can you describe them? So they look like soccer shoes for somebody who's um, no longer allowed to play soccer. <laughs> <laughs> but they match the necklace you made me buy for your for you. <laughs> Evan, we went to a woke vintage and they were like, you have to buy this necklace. You have to buy it. And I was like, okay. I've worn the necklace one time and it made me feel weird. Evan has worn it every day. <laughs> <laughs> well, what's yours? Is mine. Yeah, exactly. Yours, kind of, mine, uh, and ours is kind no, of like no, a movie no. about that. Yours us. is mine, period. <laughs> <laughs> that is so true. <laughs> Whoops. Okay. Now let's slip into the little fun review podcast. Yeah. So what's our nice one this week, Evan? Making me cackle. They always have the most interesting guests plus great chemistry with them. I think a lot of the negative reviews aren't really getting the degree of performance <laughs> a host put into this. We don't get it either. They clearly know <laughs> they show well and are ready to analyze it. But don't take themselves too seriously, which makes it more fun and interesting. Also, it's my favorite part. Also, if you complain about Evan's dictation, I feel like you're being a little homophobic. (laughs) The thing is, that should be correct, but I do have a speech impediment, which isn't because I'm gay, but it's not not because. It's cool that our nice review was like, yeah, they sound awful, but it's on purpose, y'all. Like that's (laughs) that is actually so sweet, and we really appreciate you getting the whole thing. They get the whole thing. They get the whole thing. And then okay, this was the first review we ever got on the podcast. Like it's three stars. The subject is not bad. It says 
If you squint your ears, you can just pretend Seek Treatment decided to do a girls recap podcast. When we got this review, we were like, that is so sweet. <laughs> That's actually so <laughs> oh, sweet. Yeah, it's a little, so poignant as today's guest. Yeah, but um, we thought it'd be fun to read that because guess who's coming on the pod today? None other than Why, Seek when you Tr- read that review, I got nervous. <laughs> <laughs> Um, none I, other than, wait. It's like, I already have read that review before, but like you reading a bad review, it's like, what is it going to be? What's I'm it so going to be? What's it going to be? Um, but no, we are so literally so excited for Seek Treatment's very own Catherine Cohen, Cohen to be on the pod. Um, we're going to cross dissolve to her right now. Oh my God. It's Catherine, Catherine Carl. Oh my God. Thank you so much for having me. <sighs> this is the best so day of our lives. Yeah, this is I can't so get better. I haven't met you for two minutes. No. Uh, no. No. We love doing that. And we will. We I have know. to. No, you are. Is that red wine? Mm-hmm. Imagine. It's cold brew. I would have been Jones. obsessed if you were just like, <laughs> just gonna set. First of all, it's 100 degrees, settling in with like a cozy glass of warm red. <laughs> and all white. It'd be really a gorgeous yeah. look. What month is it? It's impossible. There's no way this to isn't know. appropriate to wear this month. But That's it, all I know. It's as hot as a summer day out. It's, it's technically 72. November in many many ways. It really no, is almost November. It's a November brand though. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. I love okay. it. Okay. No, you were of course huge for it. I found your podcast when I was like 20. Wow. And I was like, what am I supposed to do? Like, what does a girl from Texas with brown hair that doesn't get married do? Wow. And you were like, you can just be Start in a, a bad mood, <laughs> like in a Shake Shack. It's gonna be fine. And I was like, okay, I'm gonna be okay. Oh my god, I really missed when we recorded by a Shake Shack. That was so special. Yeah, you gotta get back to Shake Shack. Shake Shack's so good. You're I not buying one now. No, There's actually, they just, they just, they just. They just erected one by my house. Hashtag That's erected. Such a they just erected a Shake Shack. Island version. They actually don't live near Shake Shack, though. <clears throat> well, this looks so Paris. Look out your window. It looks like Paris. It is Hasidic Williams. Until we see a child it like in a window jail. <laughs> <laughs> it's, so, it's so Parisian out here. We love you. We've never thought about it like that before. You have to. No, you have to reframe this. We have to make romantic. <laughs> yeah. They literally will set fires on their porches once a week, and we're like, "And it's so cute here." Oh my god! Yeah. It is fun to get to see what they do here. Why are they setting fires? I don't know. I, wish I knew. Apparently, I've tried they... looking it up, and it's not really online. Really? But it's something has no, said. No, it was on a specific okay. day, though. So I feel like that is so interesting. Of the month. Yeah. No, Scary. I'm just kidding. Talk it's about spooky. <laughs> okay. Love. No, it's really. This is one of my favorite episodes. I really have to say. Yeah, kind of, of the, going back of your podcast. This episode. Yeah, yeah. this episode. <laughs> <laughs> hasn't ah! <laughs> We're four minutes in, and I just can feel it. I can. It, it was. Great. I mean, girls invented me. I owe yeah. everything to girls. I owe everything to Lena. Of course. So I was telling you, I haven't watched any episodes of the show in many years. Mm-hmm. So I had to jump back in for the season three finale. Correct. Mm-hmm. Yeah so beautiful I mean it's just so good I know it's every line too. of dialogue is chef's kiss yeah it's like you don't know when you're watching it when you're 19 that like it's actually so being good I know and then you rewatch <laughs> it and you're like wait like you're being so serious and funny no tv show does it did you forget how good it was I always forget and then I kind of come back um like I the, could never how forget specifically good though I mean yeah I'm well I think you mm-hmm. like the fact that it stands the test of time I'm like yeah. this totally. is all still so real and true it does it does just get like a fine wine better with age well where were you when you first watched girls I just started college oh perfect oh and so I was like this is about to be me did you have access to HBO I somehow yes one wow. of those things where like your parents' cable mm. provider lets you log in to the HBO yeah. website. It was a different time. It, it was, was go back time. then or something. Yeah, but our, yeah, it was that. Yeah. And I remember laying in bed with my like then boyfriend and being like, I really want to watch this new show. <laughs> and it changed everything. And then we would do like Sunday night like watch parties. Aww. Well, at my view. The pilot credits roll. You're just like, I'm <laughs> yeah, I did feel different. I well, not to be dramatic, but I'd never seen someone who wasn't. Like a supermodel on TV, right. so it she was, was groundbreaking. Thirteen pounds overweight. Exactly. Yeah. I know. I look at her now. I'm like, she's literally tiny in the show. She's one of the she's smallest sh- how, in the world. how tall is she? Five three. She's a small she's person. She's a tiny, tiny Everyone's woman. losing their mind, and she's so cute. Like the scene where she's watching Adam in the play, and she gets that smile. I'm like, she looks so cutie patootie. From sleep to smile. Ah, oh, oh, it is I perfect. swear to God, like the whole first season of the rewatch, I was just like, oh my god, and she's such a sweet girl. <laughs> she's a sweet you. girl. Thank Bless you. you. She's just oh my so god. Nice. Well, Do I have um, snot on my face? We wouldn't tell you. No, you'd have to tell me. <laughs> We'd want it. It'd be really good for content. Okay. <laughs> hey, iPad. Um, wait, so you were in college. You watched it all the way through. You're like, this is perfect. I'm going to move to New York and become her. Yeah, basically. I was like, I'm obviously, I always knew I'm going to move to New York, make my dreams come true. So I connected with all the girls, yeah. all the gals. 
They do that. Yeah. Whoa. Do Bring it back to the C word earlier. I know. Kind of all the artistic women. Mm-hmm. Yeah. And you know what? We were just learning just recently. All NYU students get HBO. Why? They just give it to them for free. Because they know they'll be plugged in. in forever. What? They I don't know. understand <laughs> NYU culture. No Me offense. Either. We love to pretend to be a part of it. It has nothing to do with it. Once you go to New York, you essentially went to NYU. I do you agree. think so? You can walk around saying I went to NYU. I know, but they You're really free. have a real You're free to do no. And I hate to say that. And I hate to say that. <laughs> you think NYU students have a je ne sais quoi? Yeah, they're somehow <laughs> three years older. What? They, they are, are more three mature years than older. Me. I understand. Well, yeah, they have lived more. It, Just, it does give you a something. head start. If, like, they got a head start. Yeah, they, they know something. They know how, where to live. They have friends. Like when we all, when we all moved to the city, I assume I get there, I was like, who do I talk to? Where do mm. I go? Where's the store? To borrow a yeah. phrase from Hannah, where do I buy yogurt? Literally. Where we buy yogurt? Where do you buy yogurt now <laughs> when you move? <laughs> And I never know. Well, I, yeah, when you move to the city, it's like all my friends were college friends that I don't care about or think about at all now. Isn't that crazy? I know. You're Actually, in I touch with any of them? Today on the way here, too, but they're high school friends. Even my college friends mm. are all so boring and I'm just so desperate for connection. <laughs> I hope they listen. I know. Yeah. I'm like, y'all tune in. <laughs> I dox them every week. It's awful. It's so <laughs> awesome. I definitely, huh. my bestie was definitely giving Marnie, I was sort of the Hannah and we lived together in New York Aww. and I remember her being like, <laughs> this was so much love. I remember her one time being like, hey, um, if you're going to throw condoms in like the trash can, can you wrap them in paper towels so I don't have to look at them? And I was like, respect. <laughs> like, I was throwing a, cum all over our house. That's a beautiful boundary. <laughs> Not even recycle. <sighs> can you recycle? You no, because there's something in there, but it is plastic. Yeah. Yeah. Recycling isn't real. No, oh, okay. I, I was zero waste for one year in college. That's crazy. <laughs> girl Lauren Singer like lived in Brooklyn and had brown hair and was like I keep all my trash in a mason jar and I was like I'm addicted and then she had a video where she's like but condoms I throw away because you know what while they aren't recyclable raising an actual child would be way worse for the environment and I was like so true oh my god it's a really valid point I know but she's fallen off the face I can't find her anymore because she's zero waste. I don't know what happened to her. She used to have an amazing online presence. Even her online presence is zero waste. <laughs> I know. She was, <sighs> I came to New- the city when I was like 19 to like, I was really depressed and I was like, I'm going to go to New York for two days. Yeah. Alone. I saw like kinky boots alone. Aww. And then I went to like her package free shop and met zero waste Daniel who like just makes like clothing out of scraps. And I was like, you're friends with Lauren, right? And he's like, yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Being 19 is hell. Oh, wow. I don't remember it. Did you live in Brooklyn? Yeah. yeah. When girls was coming out still. Well, no, I feel like girls was... Did it yeah. end all before you got here? No, I feel like it was still going when I moved 20 here, maybe. Seven, wait, ended I in moved here in 2014. Oh, yeah, so it was still going on. Yeah. You were doing girls with girls. I was doing oh. girls with girls. I lived, yeah, I lived in Manhattan for one year and then moved out. We did Williamsburg, did Crown Heights, all the, all the Brooklyn hits. Cute, yeah. And then now I'm back in Manhattan. Yeah. Oh, you did Manhattan first? I guess that yeah, makes so much Yeah, it was very sense. like my parents. Yeah. It was very like, it was very Hannah I feel Horvath. like when you're from Texas, you don't even know there's other options. I just remember like me and my two friends from college, our moms like conference and helped us find like this place oh in the East God. Village. It was very, yeah, I'm a, I'm a little brat. That's so sweet. <laughs> well, I would say everyone in Brooklyn or at least Bushwick Central is from Texas. I'm gonna go single day walking so through crazy. Brooklyn and I every mean, single like, person is from Texas. I hook horns once a week with someone. It's crazy because growing up, I was just like, get me out of here as soon as possible. Yeah. No, it's giant friend groups all that went to UT roaming around the city. That's and cute. That's in Brooklyn Bushwick. That's it's cute. So in- it is so cute, but it's like I would love to meet one person from New York ever in Brooklyn. Wow, I, my experience has not been that. And it really? probably I'm in a bubble, and I am learning that every day. <laughs> <laughs> I know. I love being like, I'm in a bubble. <laughs> Wait, let's dive into the episode. So we do um, a minute to win it popcorn style oh, synopsis God. It's so of stressful the episode. It's time. actually high stakes. Okay. Evan's going to start. You're going to finish it. We each get 20 seconds to try and say everything that happened. This oh, episode. my God. I'm part of it. Okay. Okay, yeah. And away we go. Hannah's in the hallway, and oh, my God, who's there? Caroline, and she's prego. Oh, God, this is no fun for anyone. And now, uh, <laughs> Shoshana just found that she's three credits short because she took a glaciology class. And now Marty's banging on the door <laughs> being like, hey, I kind of slept with Ray. Uh-oh. And Shoshana is mad, mad, mad. Now we're ch- flip over to Jessa, who is... 
assisted suiciding a <laughs> woman named Dee Dee. Bee Dee's like, please let me die. And Justice's like, I don't think so. And Bee Dee's like, please, I hired you because I knew you would be like morally ambiguous. And then, of course, <laughs> Hannah, when she checks the mail with Caroline and runs into Caroline, she gets a letter from Iowa saying she's been accepted into a prestigious oh, yeah. writing program. And she's so excited. She calls her parents. They're so excited. She runs over to Marnie. Marnie's so excited for her. And then... And then it's really exciting because they go to the theater, correct? With the whole gang's there because it is, of course, season finale. They're going to see Adam's Broadway debut. He is in character in a British accent. And before the show, Hannah tells him, I got into Iowa. And you see he's a little shaken, but the show goes on. <laughs> yeah. Then it's like, oh my God, standing ovation. He killed it. He killed it. Desi, by the way, kisses Marnie, even though he has a girlfriend uh-uh, named Clementine. Ooh. Ooh. And then uh, Hannah's like, great job, great job, Adam. And I was like, why'd you tell me that before the show started? Fuck you. And they they part ways. He goes, why is nothing ever easy with you? And then she goes home alone, best feeling in the world, looks at her letter and is like, I don't need him. Ooh. Ooh. And that's Sweet one minute. Can I say, this is off. Yeah. You did the best out of anyone. Yeah. I'm so honored. No, well, I watched literally. it this morning. Well, it doesn't oh, really? matter. Everyone okay. watches it in the morning. Okay. <laughs> People just get really, like, why did you make me do that? And we're like, sorry. Yeah, oh my it's God. Just, thank you. Do you have an You're... improv background? <laughs> we, we have, have a, really a important very important question. Girl, what girl are you? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I think I'm. Say it. <laughs> I mean, in some way, I'm definitely a Hannah, but yeah. I think I have a little bit. Maybe some, definitely no Jessa. I wish. I would die to be a Jessa. I have yeah. no Jessa qualities. I would say maybe a little Shosh, a little Marnie too, but I'm definitely a Hannah. What do you, what, what are you guys? Okay. I would think, well, I'm just like, you actually do have a little Jessa. Maybe I, I think like you're, you're, you're the outside, but yeah, inside yeah. I'm shaking like a Shoshana. <laughs> <laughs> We just had um like an astrologist come on oh, and fun. do like the three signs of every girl. Genius. But I'm like, you've got Hannah's son, like Jessa somewhere. Like, yeah. They're all there. Okay, thanks. Oh, yeah. Because Hannah and Jessa are, are, they would be tangential. Really? So if you're kind of one, you're kind of oh, Yeah. Do you other. know about sister signs? We just no, learned about this. What's that? So it's like six months is 180 degrees. And so it's like whatever sign is here and here, they line up perfectly. So Libras and Aries are like best friends and like... Mm. It's kind of like complementary colors. What are y'all? I'm an Aries. Oh. Oh, do you mean which kind? Girl or Z- both. Zodi? Z- um, Z- girl and Zodi. Everyone goes girl and Zodi. <laughs> I'm a Gemini and then I think Shoshana. Okay. Yeah. And I'm usually a Marnie, but this episode, she had nothing to do with me. You kind of have a Marnie look, which is a compliment because she's absolutely so stunning. Much. She's so pretty. Um, but yeah, kind of like a type A, kind of like a little bit like... She was being so crazy in this episode. I know, but the way she smiled, I was like, I'll let you have it, girl. Well, I was watching her thinking like, oh, Marnie, this Marnie's going to look back in a few months and be like, I miss during that wild time in my life when I was kissing everyone's boyfriends. You know what I mean? She like, cannot stop. We're I not kissing other people's boyfriends. That was so funny. <laughs> yeah, what did Hannah say? <laughs> not again, Marnie. She was like, yeah, you kissed another person with a two girlfriend. Two in one day. Two I know. Two in one day. That is so, really two in one day is so relatable. Like when you're early 20s, you're just like, did I just fuck two people in one day? <laughs> like, who am I? And and you're like, I gotta get my yeah. shit together. Marnie's I know, but so you real. would never accept that from a Marnie. Totally. That's why it's so fun. I know. That's why it's so fun. The Jessa plot, I was like, who cares? Yeah, it was kind of a random one, I have to it's say. It's so random, but so dramatic. It's yeah. actually perfect. It escalates. So, it's like all of them are out of play, and then she's like kill, assisted suiciding a woman. Well, it is like the beginning of the season started with her in rehab, like oh, ruining okay. everyone's life. And we had to see like what she learned by the end. Okay, I see, I see. And she learned that like she's kind of for spirit. Yeah. I don't, actually yeah. i think honestly i mean we can get to it but um like i think it is really important to have bd be like i want to die i want to die i want to die and then as soon as like it presents itself bd's like i don't want to die and i think that's like really impacts Justin and being like i want to live exactly. i want to be healthy like i think it actually had to happen well and you kind of think that episode before she's the luckiest girl alive because she literally walks into an art gallery gets a dream job and then 10 seconds later you're like Oh, now she has to kill a woman. <laughs> <laughs> it is so true. It's like, oh, she just got a job with like a famous artist to be an archivist. Marnie's like next to her shaking. Like, what? Oh, okay. That's what I, I do need to ask e- for yeah. context. Yeah. That's what happened last episode. And so now she's like, you know, filing things. And then Beatty's like, low key, I just needed a girl who I know would help me die. A girl who looks like she has drugs. Yeah. yeah. And Jess is like, is that all you think of me? Yeah. And she's like, no, but mainly. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Then by the end, she's like inspired to be more than that. Stay yeah. alive. Okay. That's. Girls is poetic. Girls is a poem. It's so poetic. Season four is going to be amazing. Um, Wait, Evan, what girl were you this episode? I mean, we were talking about this earlier. Mm-hmm. I'm like, 
I'm a Hannah because I would do something to make my parents proud even if I feel weird about it. Yeah, and when you get good news, you jump. When I get good news, I jump. I was <laughs> always in the apartment like, ah! That's cute. <laughs> you have to have fun because no one else will. A hundred percent. I know. You just have to let it out. I was Elijah this episode because anytime anybody is like, oh my God, I just kissed somebody hot. And I'm like, I can see how this ends. Really? Are you? I'm that- so just like, like child of divorce. Like it's not going to work oh, out. That's so, sad. Yeah. I need to like be more hopeful. Well, I don't even think he means that for everyone. I do think in this episode though, it's like, there's no way Desi and Martin are going to work out. It's kind of, yeah. that's very clear about that. Him being like so many ghosts in the dressing room. <laughs> yeah. That was so, he is sex on a stick though he's sex so on a hot uh, the way clementine is like i get it but you're wrong that scene was tough i was like oh i will say like do we have to have like clementine be like and i'm mad like i feel like a real girl and girls would be like what's up girl yeah it's so weird that people actually confront each other in real life but i guess that's why it's ultimately television are you non-calm i'm trying to be more calm mm. i feel like i'm so far I've been so scared of people not liking me and Mm -hmm. so mad so scared of upsetting anyone and now in my hashtag 30s I'm like okay sometimes you have to stick up for yourself Mm. and and not be afraid of no, when did you learn this because I'm like I'm we're getting there now really everything we talk about in therapy is like being confrontational it's so hard but at a certain point you can't you you can't please everyone so you have to stick up for yourself and people will respect you more I know people actually the thing is your words actually don't hurt people as much as you think they will that has been a case oh, for me. Actually, that's just my case. I'm the luckiest person alive. Yeah, you are. I will I actually know. have to kill someone now. I don't know what I think, <laughs> generally. <laughs> we, just had, um, we just had Sydney Washington on our last Oh, episode. I love her and so much. And the way much. she sat down and was just like giving us wisdom for an hour and a half. We were just really? shitting here, just like shaking. Like, that's that's not how today's going to be. No. I have we do not expect that from you. <laughs> that's funny because I, I, just have, I just had breakfast with Sydney and she she really did give me a lot of wisdom too. And I she's think so that's smart. what makes her so special. I was like, you're being so wise at us. And she's like, I'm still really young. And we're, we're like shaking. She's so pretty. She really is so she's beautiful. So, but she and kept funny. saying things being like, I can't believe it when people do this. And it's like, no, you're totally right. That is exactly the thing I do. But you're so correct. <laughs> she's oh, she's brilliant though. The way she was like, and if you're doing this, absolutely stop. And I was like, okay. Wow. <laughs> I need to listen to that app. Um, I love it. Okay. Wait, should we leave? I have to ask you though. What? I already said Elijah. But no one asked you. Oh. Okay. I feel bad that no one gets ever asked you. You can edit it before, right? Yeah. Okay, perfect. Girl, <laughs> what girl are you? I think I'm actually Elijah this week. I don't know. It's just like he's so excited to be at Broadway. I am having so much fun in the theater district. Like... I did like him saying, telling Ray to get a blazer because no one dresses up anymore. And I mm. went to Las Vegas and the outfits there were so depressing. I wanted to KMS. Oh, yeah. People are in like t shirts with bikinis. Yes. On them. I yeah. like wore he- heels, which I never wear, a dress, a fur coat. I was like, we're going to the slots, baby. Like, let's go get a martini <laughs> yeah. and like fuck shit up. I'm in a movie, I'm in casino, whatever. And then I go, everyone's wearing sweatpants. Oh, yeah. North Face hoodies and like crocs it's and crocs like, i was like this is hell and the casino or just like everywhere just all, all of vegas is a casino so yes right <laughs> totally but ray i agree put a blazer on go to the theater dress up respect yourself i know i tried to wear like something i wear to broadway i will say yeah. that every time i go to las vegas i will wear what you're talking about but i've only gone to sixth grade <laughs> <laughs> but we did pay i went with this really rich kid it was like our summer whatever camp retreat and we paid 200 dollars to look inside a nightclub for 10 seconds that's it was the crazy best 10 seconds my what'd you see experience. there's people dancing but yeah. we're like now we get to say we went to a nightclub yeah <laughs> i was in las vegas one i was about i used to live in la and right before i moved to new york i was like i have to do everything people in la do they drive to vegas for the weekend mm-hmm. so i went but the week I, before i went i had listened to an audiobook about like why i should stop drinking <laughs> So oh, I showed up there with which just one? like the naked the naked mind like, or whatever. Oh, people love that one. I know it didn't like, work on me. But some <laughs> woman being like you don't need it. Quit like a woman. Some I mean, you're like I've read all these books on alcohol. Yeah, like, oh, <laughs> wait, I do also. alcohol is poised and it isn't it isn't hitting me. This it's mm. not. I think mostly now that I'm old hag but hot. It it's just it, it doesn't feel as fun. Like I'll have a drink and I'm like I just don't. It doesn't feel like it used You're to. You're actually really trendy because no one's drinking anymore. Yeah. I know. Oh, it's, it's so in. out of sight. Guys. And for a while, I was like, this is annoying. No one's drinking anymore. But mm-hmm. now I'm like, okay, I get it. No, exactly. It's all these 40-year-olds are like really mad at Gen Z for being like, you guys are so lame and you won't really drink a glass of wine at three o'clock during your podcast. <laughs> but actually, we're really cool. And I, and I 
in like a different way. Like I'll do cocaine, yeah. but I won't drink at all. I don't know what that really. Is. Yeah, I'm just like desperate. I'm to scared of cocaine. Like a loss of control. Really? Yeah. Yeah, alcohol is amazing for that. <laughs> yeah, but it's like you really have to drink so much for it to go all the way. I know, but that's what I did for so long, and it was so fun. I need to dive into. <laughs> well, oh my god, you're so fun. Yeah. What? We we're like, we're not having any fun. We're gonna have to go get drunk. I now. know. I feel like we're not having fun in our 20s. What do we do? Really? Yeah, mm. we're so like. Yeah, you definitely need oriented. You have to stop. You need to go do something. I actually think people should do more stupid things. No, I agree. I, okay, well, I quit Lexapro because I've never felt anything. Yeah. And now I've been feeling everything and it's been like crazy. Like, I don't know how to control it. Like, I'm texting Evan insane sentences. Yeah, I know what that They're feels not like. Sentences. They're, They're not sentences. They're very long paragraphs. <laughs> You're off Lexapro. It's so funny because I, I went off my Prozac mm-hmm. and I had that same experience and then I went back on and I was like, thank fucking God. But I'm like, I never felt anything. It'd be cool to know what songs are What about. age did you go on? Like two years ago. But before, how, if y'all feel safe, how old is everyone here? We're two five. five. That's so meaty. That's so <laughs> thick and that's we should be robust. More fun. Well, I should that's why I moved in six minutes away from my boyfriend to see exactly <laughs> what will happen. You have a boyfriend? Do you, are you dating anyone? I've literally never been on a third date. What is happening? You're stunningly gorgeous. I literally am What's so, happening? I'm so bad at like. Um, Can you talk about or? You should fuck around. I've literally never even orgasmed, Catherine. <laughs> okay, we need to get into this. I have bought every so vibrator you. offered. <laughs> Well, now that you're off the Lexapro, that'll help. Can I bring I know. a cookie that, over that, here? Please go get the oh go God, get the sweet so treats. Good. You've never come in your life. Never. And it's, it's so like, brave of you to admit that. It's time. I'm sure. I'm, I'm sure a so lot of many girls this, haven't, and they don't say. talk about it. I'm sure a lot of women feel the same way. But it is prison because everybody's always talking about how like goopy goop they are. Uh, yeah, how goop. and I'm like <laughs> goopy like wet pussy or goopy like Gwyneth. Like truly dripping. <laughs> oh, dripping like Gwyneth. Okay. Yeah, and they're like I met a man and now I have to get new underwear and I'm like what does that mean? Wow. Okay, so you're fully off the Lex now. I'm fully off the Lex in long? hopes. It's been what, two weeks? Oh, okay. It's two weeks. Just Evan, wait. <laughs> you're going to start getting so horny, I bet. Okay, but before I was never horny, but I was like there was an emotional wall. But you're and way I, hotter now. I feel like my life is different now. So what do you used to look like? <laughs> <laughs> Do you see that Alex Earl before and after photo? No, show me immediately. Oh my god. What do you guys think of her as young people? I don't know that girl. I'm That's obs- no way you I'm don't know who that is. Can How you do you not pay? wait? No. You know Amelia. who she is. You're being really weird. You don't you know who Alex Earl is. I don't I, freak me out. I bet I will. I bet I will. She's like the she's somehow the voice of her generation. Alex Earl's the voice of our generation. She has nothing to she say. She gets she gets kooky, kooky. <laughs> Sorry, it's all one thing I BCC do love about comments. her is that she just gets so fucked up and is like, "Hey," and you have to respect. Oh that. yeah, she's I drinking. I kind of want that to happen to me more. She's definitely drinking. She's really like the drunk? one girl our age still drinking. <laughs> I just <laughs> so get, funny. I just feel like if I ever do anything to make someone mad, they'll never forgive me and I'll die. I think yeah, I don't blame you for feeling that way. This is truly the craziest video I've ever seen. I think that I'm gonna face transplant in my sleep because. Wow. Do you think that's it's an angle? It's an angle. I mean, no wonder I was getting denied from every single bar. Wait. She said she just got lip filler, but that's literally a different person. I feel like she grew up, lost weight, tilted her head down, and got lip filler. Tilted her head down can literally change everything. Someone young and beautiful taught me how to do 0.5. Oh, I know. Thank God. Alex and I Cohen. was like, oh, I, I was like, I need to go eat a burger. I'm real and I'm real thin. I need God. Oh, it's the way crazy. it makes your cheekbones. Like, <laughs> we'll do a 0. 0.5 for the promo yeah. shop okay, today. Perfect. It's wait, crazy need, when you learn 0. 0.5 and then you're like, oh, I was beautiful all along. Yeah, wait. This is the best cookie I've ever had. It's kind of crazy. Catherine but I'm stuck on the donut. So many wind sun treats. And Let me ask everything. you this. Well, first of all, it's, it is fun because usually I feel like now everything's on Zoom. So when I fa- when I found out via email that we were doing it in person, I thought. We're so retro. We treats. don't drink and we do in person. Neither of you drink? <laughs> no, uh, I Well, do. she'll drink and I'll get upset. <laughs> oh, why are you upset? Evan always Her has personality one drink. Changes. I change fundamentally when I have I, a uh, what, what do you get like? Um, just like very. She's never was, she was never in a sorority and yet she's somehow the president of one. Uh-huh. Does that make sense? <laughs> Wait, so do you enjoy sex even if you're not coming or are you just like bored with it? I literally have had sex maybe three times and every time I'm like, is this thing on? Oh my God. <laughs> and that's like devastating. Like for so long I was like, oh, it's my religious repression. I like used to be so religious. Christian? Yeah. I was like, my original Twitter handle was Jesus Saves 98. Yeah, you were like young life. I was like in it. I was young life. Did you go to UT? 
No, I randomly moved to Canada. What? I wanted to find myself. <laughs> I, I didn't find it there. <laughs> I don't. I, I say this with love because I actually have had a great times in Canada, but there's nothing romantic about it. No, mm. everybody in Toronto was evil to me and I was depressed all the time, but mainly because I went vegan and was B12 deficient. You went to school in Toronto? Yeah. That's so funny. I was just the there. College. That's so funny because I was just there. <laughs> <laughs> Did you go to the comedy bar? No. Oh, no I went God. to the Royal. Oh my god, it's that so movie cute theater, there. theater. It was so yeah. cute. I just started my shows. The it was West, so fun. That used to be like ten minute walk from my old place, where this girl deeply wronged me, and I'll never forget it. That sounds like college. <laughs> um, all love to you, girl. So you go on dates. Or, what a super, but it's kind of a superpower to not care about sex because that's that ruins and rots. Oh, the I brain. didn't care about for six eight months. Six eight months ago, I didn't care, and now I'm actually in the Honestly, era of caring. Honestly, Evan You're got the- in their first relationship, and now I want it. Yeah, I brought it. How around. did you meet your lover? Open mic. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we are ending the podcast no, here. We have to end it. You're like, I have to go. No, we were so friends they do for stand four up? months. Your partner we're friends for up? four months, and then we looked into each other's eyes at a rooftop concert, and then that's hot. Yeah, so I know it was actually kind of insane. Oh my, we have so much to unpack. There's so much to unpack. Why I are we need... both so sex negative? Wait, what is happening to your gen? <laughs> we're we don't both drink sex, and we're we, sex we negative. Had a are y'all sub- even? And no offense, are y'all are y'all even Gen Z or what? What year yeah. is it? Yeah, I think where I does Gen Z decide. start? We're Gen Z, but it was like I was raised millennial, so it's like I'm coming down from that. So you were at Young Life, and everyone was like, "Don't ever fuck," and you're like, "Perfect, I'm on and it." And I was like, "I'm, <laughs> I'm, I'm like, I on it, this. easy." And then in college, I was like, "Wait, that's not a rule anymore," but I still am afraid that it's against the law. Do you have romantic crushes? No. Really? Well, Maybe you're asex. Actually, yeah, but uh, I don't want that to be real. But why? I don't think that's valid. No, okay. but you had it. You had a crush on two people. I had it two crushes. What happened? Well, as soon as one was like, "I'm actually bi for men," I was like, "Okay, no problem." Bye. Someone's bi. Oh, someone, a man you had a crush on is bi for men. A girl that is a girl bi. you had a crush I'm like, on. Okay, you're bi, but you really only want to like suck a dick. Oh, that's that's very common. Yeah, she's not lesy for plezzy. Yeah. That doesn't make any sense, but I love when you say it. <laughs> Lezzy for Plezzy. Okay. Um, for Prezzy. But then for Prezzy. I did have like a actual real life. Well, I don't want to say. I literally. <laughs> it's yeah. okay, Amelia. You don't have to. You don't have to say whatever you feel but comfortable with. I used to. Like, to my sexual awakening was Jimmy Fallon. That sucks. <laughs> and it was when he was interviewing a beautiful actress. It's like watching. So you're him. like, I like both. You're bi. Yeah, like he's interviewing Emma Stone about She's Spider-Man, so okay. and I'm like, oh my god, love is real. Interesting. But it's like, what do we do with that? But then I forced myself to go on all these dates when I was here. Yeah. And I kept just like going out with finance bros and being like, what? I don't blame you for not wanting to you fuck them. You could be the first asexual girl in the East West Village. I know, but I don't really want to. That's not cute. Maybe you're just full it's gay. A brand. I know. And then I'm like, this summer, I was like, oh, I'm <laughs> definitely just a lesbian. <laughs> yeah, maybe. Well, and then you know it's like, Wednesday wouldn't I want to kiss a girl? You haven't been with a woman? No. Well, once in college, kind of. <laughs> 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 this is such a fun mystery. I know, but wait, this wait, isn't what the podcast is. Wait, explain what's Wednesday, though. You talk about it in though. there? What is your no, it's okay. Even... Talk about what's Wednesday. Oh, okay. Do you I'm... know what what's Wednesday is? What's Wednesday? It's the biggest There's lesbian a... gathering in all the U.S. It happens once a week at the Woods, which is a bar in South Williamsburg. It gets I was... 400 lesbians. Roofied there. Ah! No way. On a straight Slay. night. Now that's and it, fingered. That's um, a lot ma- of control. Amaz- amazing mashup. <laughs> <laughs> Name a more iconic duo. All weight. Ro- fingered on the fi- dance floor. Roofied and fingered. <laughs> make it make sense. <laughs> is that okay? Is everyone gonna be like scared? No, of me? No. I think our listeners will resonate. It with It happens. That. It happens out there. That's be, so be scary. Wait, scary the, for why, many weeks. Yeah, I've been years. scared so many. Life is so scary. Why would you even go to the woods though? It's a terrible bar. I used to live like on that street. Oh. Really? Mm-hmm. Yo, you were South Williams. Yeah. Where? In my youth, I lived on South Fourth. Oh my god, let's have it. It was fun. It was probably so much cheaper. But I went too. to the woods. And I paid a thousand dollars. This is two thousand. Only a thousand. Two thousand both. We should shoot ourselves. You should shoot yourself. <laughs> well, to be fair, Evan used to work in like fintech this year. Uh, I need to know. Uh, this is so much to talk about. I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. <laughs> Wait, we actually have to talk about. I'm like, I'm sober. I worked in fintech, and I'm wearing all white in October. You look like a little <laughs> Victorian. <laughs> royal child i knew it'd resonate with you yeah so it's, it's like, really, oh, really nice a victorian child okay wait so i don't even know whatever okay whatever i think figuring out your orgasm is probably more significant than figuring out let's like- all be works in progress yeah <laughs> let's be w- what, if we, what if today we decide to just be works in progress and we don't decide we don't need to decide what we're sexually attracted to we don't need to decide if we should drink or not we don't need to decide yeah. when we're gonna come next i'll never sleep but again. i'd love to know don't you need a mat have you ever tried the magic wand or whatever so oh i bought God. one that Wait, plugs into a wall yeah isn't that what that is and i literally am like 
I'm broken. Do you just grind on it and nothing happens? Yeah. Or like anytime I watch porn, I get really scared that I'm going to be killed by a man. Oh my God. Oh, <laughs> that's so therapy? sad. I've been bagging. I know. Not- I get really scared <laughs> I'm going to be killed by a man. It's so sad and funny. <laughs> <laughs> I just am like, oh God, he's going to kill her. I think you need to be with a woman. I know. But then I watch lesbian porn and I'm like, this is so weird. But lesbian <laughs> porn is like canonically like not real. It's like a male fantasy. Yeah. I'm like, can we get two girls that actually... Are yeah, you it? need to watch like what are they called? Like amateur. My boyfriend's literally right. addicted to porn, so he's always teaching me things oh, about perfect. porn. Oh, perfect! <laughs> so that's actually perfect. Um, huh. Yeah, we'll work. Uh, on maybe it. some girls only fans, like more authentic. Yeah, I think totally. find one girl you really like, and then kind of just pay five dollars a month to maybe figure out if you're gay or not. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you're at the beginning of a beautiful journey, and we're all works in progress I'm, today. I, I love I'm at the beginning of this progress. journey. For- Coming up on 10 years. So fa- I'm so but fascinated so by this. But uh, no, I p- quit Lexapro so I could um, talk to a therapist and have something to say. So you've just been kind of happy? Like, I just kind of felt absolutely numb the whole time I was really? on drugs, which was no problem. It made me really productive and I achieved a lot of small goals. <laughs> yeah, what Can makes we get you blacked t- out after this? What makes you <laughs> tick? <laughs> what makes y'all there. tick? Like, mad? Like what? No, what do you like? No, like what? What do you want? Oh, I, oh. everything makes me really horny, so it's crazy. Oh, I'm cool. so sex negative. I, I, someone just you touches are sex me. negative, even though you're not. Not in a anymore. Okay, but yes, I'm more meant like in general, like in life. What do you like? What oh, excites oh, oh. you? Um, like someone being podcasting. Yeah, <laughs> that, that'll, that'll fade. That'll fade. <laughs> podcasting media. Yeah, um, it is quite a rush being part of the community. Um, it's lovely. I don't know what is making me tick because you know you do open mics for so long and then you want to shoot everyone you've ever. Where seen. are the open mics that are fun? No, no, that's yeah, not no. Real. <laughs> but y'all met at one. They we met at one, fun. but we weren't having fun. Why there? aren't they fun anymore? Well, it's just like everybody is. So, I I do fear that because of social media, uh-huh. everybody is so product driven. Like mm-hmm. they already want to be fully formed rather than like trying something and like creating something. And I will say it's better in New York than LA. Like LA, everybody is so like. So you lived there brand. first. Yeah, I moved there because I got a degree in media and was like, that's where media is. in Toronto. <laughs> yeah, and you're like. <laughs> <laughs> Um, but then I was there and I was so depressed and And you were doing stand up there no I did I did like you just did improv right um, don't be rude to your friend. Sorry, 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 sorry. <laughs> well, I moved there. I moved there one month before COVID, so of course I was miserable. There. Oh, okay. I forgot about COVID. That ruined every. That ruined we, everything. I think we all forgot about COVID. Well, it still is deep, deep, deeply affecting us. I mean, it's nice that everybody was watching your show last night. It's like we literally all forgot about COVID. I was so pleasantly surprised when I feel like, yeah, I was at a show all of a sudden. I was like, oh my god, no one cares anymore. Yeah. Anyways, there wait. are like two also, girls that open mics that are always in at ninety five. No There's way. So many straight guys. I was in the back. Are you sure? With my backpack and um, uh, yeah, a homeless guy almost assaulted my boyfriend while we were I'm there. Sorry. And um, it was all straight guys in the back, but oh they were god. laughing. They were really having a good time. Wait, that was seems all the so fintech. weird. Not you being like, sorry, my audience is men. That's, that's sad. <laughs> no, but that's so, I'm surprised because that's just never the case, but I'm kind of flattered. No, that's what Alex said to me after. She's never seen how many straight men there. Interesting. Mm. I'm weird. sorry. We were talking about your orgasm. <laughs> yeah. Have you come yet? <laughs> <laughs> Are you close? <laughs> <laughs> I have it live on the podcast. Wait, I-, I wanted to hear about the open mic. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. Do you all host- Why don't you all host one? I host one. I host one. Amelia did. At um, Moodrang. Fun. Okay, it's fun, except they've never set the mic up once or the seats, so I have to kind of go so in there and pla- set everything up. No, it's so up. classic. Like, someone who owns a venue is mad at you for, like, giving them money, and you're like, yeah. I'm here, to, and they're just, like, pissed at you. That's yeah. the most classic so thing. They're so pissed. They will give us 45 drink tickets every single time, and someone will break a stool every time by sitting on it. So, like, <laughs> my whole audience has body dysmorphia, of course. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Did you post an open mic? Yeah, it was so fun at a venue that obviously doesn't exist anymore. Where was it? It was in South Williamsburg. Oh my god! But I feel like that was, it was such a bar. fun. It was, yeah, it's like that exact place. <laughs> but it was so fun because I had felt similarly about open mics. I was like, every time I go, this is hell on earth. It's all these straight guys. I don't know what I'm doing. I will say it's all um, by women now, which is cool. Okay, but there's no space for straight women. <laughs> it's time to lean into lena this is the segment where we're like what was that girl thinking and let me just say she was thinking about a lot of things in this one. Oh, you're so professional let's Malia. dive first off straight into hannah finding out she got into iowa grad school what do we think <laughs> <laughs> um i'm so proud of her me too and i just love how happy she is it's just one of those moments like when she's looking around holding the letter it's one of those moments where you're like by yourself and you're just really able to take in how hard you've worked yeah. which is such a rare 
beautiful feeling. It's have you guys had had that moment? Can I can I say we were just we were just in Vogue the other day for okay, best podcast amazing. at twenty. Yeah, it was literally no. It was it really was that kind of moment where yeah, you're, like, right? you're looking at it and you're like, oh wow, this feels really <gasps> good. Oh yeah. And then when I got into the college, I I felt like that too. Going to getting into college, you thought you should go to yes, a hundred percent. But I was really reminiscing on that. Did you feel that way when you got into college? Yeah, it was like. Oh my god! I can't believe I get to like leave this town behind and start a new ah. life. Oh, the thing that okay, yeah, I'm saying it now, but it's like that's what everyone feels, right? I yeah, did, I didn't feel but like in a good way. Canada. Yeah, in a good way. Wait, did you feel it recently too? Well, I just remember when I got my first apartment by myself. I like such a movie moment. Like no stood there guarantor. with the keys. Yeah, being like no guarantor, no roommates. Being like, oh my god, like how did I do this? Like you made it happen for yourself. Girl. Can we tell you what our landlord just said to us and why we got the apartment? Yeah. Is it okay to say, Amelia? What was it? He said he liked, he booked, he he didn't know if he would have us or not. It took a one week and a half, as we were talking about earlier. He said um he gave us an apartment because my mom is has money and um he liked our TikToks. <laughs> That's amazing. He stopped our Instagram comedy reels and said, fine. I am worried about y'all, but I think yeah, it'll be, a, it looks like a cute place. Yeah. But I don't like how involved the landlord already being in your personal lives. He's going to be the four. He's going to know that you can't come. I know. <laughs> he will. Well, he was yesterday. It was like first time I met him. He's giving a tour of the place, and he's like, "There was a girl who used to live here, and every time I came to the house, oh, she yeah. had a different girlfriend sitting on the couch, being like, I think I'm in love with this girl.' Wow. And I'm like, you know so much about your tenants. He will be following along on my journey. Hey, Robert. <laughs> no, he literally said that, and he took a photo of us outside the house. That's so cute. Yeah, it is actually really cute. Oh, really no problem. I think it's the beginning of a beautiful chapter. Yeah, um, we have a fourth but I think bad. I was going to be a beginning of a beautiful chapter. Oh, for sorry. Hannah. Yes. Uh-huh. <laughs> I think we have seen Hannah be codependent every season. And I think this is her first step when she's like, I don't fucking care what Adam's doing. I'm going to Iowa because I want to be a writer. Is so I got chills watching it in my bed last night because every single season has started with like her in bed with somebody and being like, please like me. And then this like Adam literally is like, you suck. And she's like, no, I don't. And it's like, Ooh. damn girl. Yeah, no, you don't. I well, love it when you do a flea bag while I'm in show. <laughs> I know. I love I love feeling like the pressure gutturally to like say analyzations. You're so good. <laughs> That's not a word. Um, really quick. I mean, it really is like a, this, I mean, it shows a duality of like the reaction of something so big happening to how it like it truly affects, she's already having this unstable relationship with Adam. Now we're seeing it so severely affected by Iowa, but her parents have never been happier for her. Mm. When the comment, what her dad makes, when she's like, we can all agree, but no, la- my last four years have <laughs> been a while. She's like, at least you're aware of it. At least you're honest, honey. I know. And they run into the kitchen. They're so happy. That was really cute. Tad and Lorene just jumping for joy. They're so good. I love when she's like, and I don't even know if writing can really be taught, but like, (laughs) it's like, oh my God, so good. (laughs) She's so good. I'm happy. I feel like it's like one of the main, one of the only good things that happens to her. Like, what else happened that's good? (laughs) A baby. Oh, that's not so good. Oh, God, don't ruin it. (laughs) Oh, that's scary. Yeah. Um, Well, GQ is good as it lasted, and then she hated it. I forgot about it. I forgot about the whole She quit her job, which, by the way, Jenna Lyons is her boss. Is it amazing? So so cool that that's happening. But she dramatically quits. She like looks Jessica Williams in the face and is like, "Is this all you want for your life?" And she's like, "Can you relax, girl?" And she's like, "Are y'all all stupid? Do y'all not think you're poets? Get out of here!" And Jenna Lyons is like, "You're fired." And she's like, "I quit." I totally forgot that scene, but that sounds awesome. Yeah, I'm happy for her. <laughs> <laughs> it was. It was really amazing. Awesome. And trust me, it was awesome. But by the way, her telling Adam the news before he goes on stage that. Did you guys watch the Beckham documentary? No, I heard it's amazing though. It's fully posh telling Bex she's pregnant before his big game and like he fumbles it. I'm like, Adam and Hannah are my posh and Bex. <laughs> no. Oh my God. Wait. Well, okay. I actually was thinking a lot about this scene because moments before Desi, this, like, almost the same exact thing is happening to Desi where he's literally cheating on his girlfriend. Crazy. But you don't see Desi going back there and be like, Marty, you ruined my damn performance. Or yeah. Clem, you ruined my performance. Where Adam, I like, honestly, you, I see a lot of men where they'll like take out their anger from themselves on other people and blame other people for their mistakes. And like, I feel like, yes, Hannah did kind of wrong time, wrong totally. place. Totally. Like if he was prepared, he'd be prepared. A hundred percent. 
I don't know. That's yeah, how I feel. Yeah, I think feel. it's unfair that he's like, I need to cut you out of my life so I can be good at this Broadway play. And I'm like, there has to be a better way. Yeah, I think she shouldn't have told him then and he shouldn't have reacted that way. She definitely, it is cool that she like <laughs> didn't even think for a second. No, it's so Like selfish. the way she is like earnestly like, and this will be awesome. I do love her line about like, we'll be one of those artist couples where we're like both doing things in different rooms and you'll Literally. come in and be like, look what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, her whole struggle this season has been like her feeling like she's selling out while all her friends like Marnie is getting really into music and Adam's literally on Broadway she's like am I not the artist friend mm. this just won't do and last episode she like meets with Patti Lapone she has to do an interview and Patti Lapone's husband is like yeah I had to give up my career for Patti and like, Hannah's like oh I, I can't have this like that is like I would never want to date somebody who's like feel bad for Hannah though a little too creative. really well I kind of it's like I would also hate to date someone who isn't creative I know you can't win but it's like if you are and they're winning and you're feeling lame and bad like that has to be absolute hell do you think it's better or worse they do different kind of creative things so definitely better better okay yeah it's like I mean, to Michael- for me i get so jealous of like my peers mm-hmm. but my boyfriend when he does well i'm like just purely happy i'm like this is so good for us yeah that sounds awesome and healthy. yeah well because i'm like why wouldn't i want him to be like such yeah, a success well his success is your success that's how i feel ways. yeah yeah how long have i guess you guys been dating like four years have you always felt this way Whole college or is this kind of like a newer thing <clears throat> about his success yeah yeah i've always felt that way oh, that's I, amazing. Feel, I feel like i i get really jealous of people who i feel like are similar to me or like are quote unquote taking mm-hmm. something i might be able to have which is always false anyways uh-huh. but with him i'm like fuck yeah like i want you to have everything you deserve who's next can we talk about shosh not graduating nyu yeah did you ever fail a class no. Or miss a lot of one? No. Oh, you're an amazing student. Yeah. <laughs> what, about, what about you guys? You know, like, next topic. Um, I, I mean, did. in a psychotic way. Yeah, I got all A's because if I thought I got a B, I would be, I would immediately, like, disintegrate. Yeah, me too. No, I didn't even try once in college. That's beautiful. I, but I went to Tulane, and it's all about having fun there. Did you have so much fun there? Yes. Much fun. Oh. I took an art history class. I didn't go to a single class except for the final and two of the tests out of three. And I would just go. I had extra time, so I could go into teacher's office and just look up everything on my phone. Oh my god! I don't support that. I want. To, I don't support that. <laughs> it was perfect. I don't know a single thing about art now, no. but I pretend. I learned about one column. But are you like New Orleans is life? No, New Orleans is life. I was literally Aww. singing around this apartment before you came. Do you know what it means to miss New Orleans? And I was Aww. tap dancing right before you That's came beautiful. here. That's beautiful. I love it so much. I, I would live there dancing. if I didn't care about open mics. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer Coolidge lives there, right? Uh huh. Oh guys my god. Hang. I'd go no to the idea. juice bar. My friend would work at, and we'd just be hanging out. And Jennifer Coolidge would walk in in athletic in athletic gear, which That's you would amazing. never think she'd be in, but she's is in. she is her hair fully blown out. When she's walking She's kind of ponytail. Can I, I say that, that online? Of course. Can we let people know that I Jennifer... I think we actually brought this up in episode two of the podcast. We did. Wow. <laughs> Peter, I'm glad we If you've been here back. from the you beginning, <laughs> call back. <laughs> um, oh, yeah. What else shows. happened to this episode? No, okay. So I know. She, run, her, her, she took a glaciology class, too. Can we talk about that? Is she, that real? I don't... I mean, I'm sure it's a real class, but she probably thought it's like the show going sketch comedy, though. They probably thought it was They're an like easy trying to say though. funny lines. Yeah, that's funny. That I felt that way about um the flag joke. Yeah, of course. Like her aunt's Wait. flag. She's like, I'm gonna carry my aunt's flag. She's like, your name's oh, flag. Yes. She's like, I told you I'm carrying my aunt's flag. I'm like, ha ha. <laughs> I'm like, yeah, I love when the show becomes broad city for one second. Yeah, little moments. And of then that. goes back to like being a show. Are you more broad city or girls? Girls. Yeah, totally. That resonates. The heart is just like, it's so good. It's There's so, so much good. heart. I mean, I love Broad City too, obviously. Yeah, of course. Which was Shauna then feeling a loss of control because she didn't, her plan did not succeed. Oh my God. Because like at the start of the season, she's like, my last year at NYU is going to be amazing. I'm doing this, 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 and this. And at the end, it's like, you realize you can't balance everything. Like one thing has to like drop or whatever. No, she got rumbled class because then Marnie stomps in. Yeah, so then a- she loses her mind because then <sighs> on top of finding out she's not going to graduate NYU on time, her friend Marnie is fucking her ex-boyfriend? <laughs> no! Have you guys ever physically attacked a friend like she does? She literally jumps on she her. She did Krav Maga. Evan does was- that to me. Really? Out of love. Oh, that's yeah. cute. I can't imagine doing what she does, which is <laughs> jumping on her friend because she's mad at her. I'm like, this is crazy. I know. It's like if she you're actually mad at someone, I kind of like, love it. You're dead to me. But instead, she's like, why? <laughs> Have you had a friend sleep with your boyfriend or sleep with someone well, you liked? 
we have to say this again first and, boyfriend and of course no. <laughs> sleep with someone you like we pretend i can't even imagine no i will say i listened to folklore off lex pro and it's like uh-huh. as if i heard it for the first time oh. i was like oh my god willow yeah wow are you a taylor girl of course huge swifty I, have you seen it in t- really why no i'm kidding <laughs> have I'm you seen not. that in theaters <laughs> I'm not going to see that in theaters. I was crying. <laughs> I was there. It, yeah. Oh, you saw it in IRL. I went in Denver. Random. Denver. Random. Don't that's, explain. That's a crazy thing. I won't. State. No. Yeah, <laughs> I won't. Um, wait. Yes. I had a friend once in college hook up with someone I thought was my boyfriend. So but what did you do? Freaked out and talked to her forever. Did she know? What, were you more like yes. avoidant about it? Like, oh God, and mad by your in a bubble? Yeah, I ignored. I didn't yeah, yeah. I, I didn't jump on I didn't do this Shoshana. <laughs> I did reverse Shoshana, which is you ignore <laughs> the person. So this is where the confrontation's kinda of circling back. Yeah, wow, full circle. Whoa. We'll tag them on TikTok. Yeah, please tag both of them. I'll give you their handles and oh, social security numbers. That's perfect. <laughs> Uh, wait so did you get over it quickly or does that still weigh on your heart and mind it's amazing that it doesn't weigh on me at all but it did for probably a long time totally can, we, can i ask how long and i, I don't know it was, in, it was in college so for me it's like those four well, years were them. so intense yeah. like that whole thing i was just crying all the time and then mm-hmm. as soon as i graduated it's kind of like oh that wasn't real no right. literally right it's I, like drink actually all of college <laughs> <laughs> i don't believe that i ever lived in canada <laughs> And I've always yeah. thought that. I'm like, that actually had nothing to do with me and I wasn't there. Wow, weird. Um, so are all your friends from college still in Canada? Yeah, it's like crazy because it's like college is about making connections. And I was like, what if I connect with a bunch of people that are useless? <laughs> I think never, that I'm never going to see again. Yeah, that literally like legally can't come here. It's no Fascinating. Problem. Wow. But You're I was never- so scared to move to New York City immediately because I was like, it's so big. Let me do a starter city. Well, can you explain why you're scared to move to Bushwick? Because you're going to lose your yoga studio. No, okay. <laughs> my problem is that every year I moved, I've never lived in a place more than a year. We go sad. With and Amelia to this hold up. year, I was like, I finally need to set roots. Like, I'm staying in I know. New York. This is the major city I'm living in. I'm gonna live in Williamsburg. I'm gonna build a life here. I found a yoga studio. I know all my coffee shops. I know my routes. And then Evan was like, What if you uprooted your life just one more time? For <laughs> you, that you're moving so close. I know, but it's the M. No, we're You're one minute on from the, the M. M. What's the M Knickerbocker? Okay, but the thing is, we're we're not three, the L. We're what? three minutes from L, so this girl's oh, being a little hyperball. Yeah, yeah. I was just, I was just trying to make being. It I have to say, sense. being closer to the L than you are now, you'll feel closer to the city. That's what I'm telling yeah. you. Yeah, this the, I am. I say this with love, but this feels really far. It is. You're right, How did you even get? Oh, you took the L, and then I you had to walk like 16 minutes. With all those pastries, yeah, we, you <laughs> no girl should have to do that. <laughs> I've been through a hell. <laughs> You've been I know. A I'm hell. like, you should only be getting to teleport places. I know. All of. I know. Or blade. What's that? Oh, <laughs> the, the helicopter. Yeah, yeah. No, I like getting my steps in, so I was excited for the walk. Oh, yeah, are you a 10,000? We're 10,000 mm, types of girl. 100% addicted to my steps. We're addicted to the health app telling us. Yeah, but that's why I wear this hideous thing. It's so much better. Does it tell you how to sleep too? Um, I do have a sleep. It tells you how long I sleep. Tells you how long I sleep. <laughs> it texts your phone. Yeah, Evan's been getting texts for years. <laughs> um, that's amazing. I had an Apple Watch, but I got really addicted to it. And then once it shattered, and I was like, God it saved me. I know. <laughs> Today I'm free. Well, it's hard because sometimes I want to wear a really good outfit. And then I'm like, am I just not going to know my steps? Right. Well, you have your phone. Well, we had... <sighs> it's not the same. We had Sabrina, <laughs> we had Sabrina Bryan on the podcast. And oh my so God, I was just TXTing that girl. Perfect girl. We haven't met, but a friend... Literally just was texting us being like, y'all have to hang out. No, you guys y'all have to hang out. Y'all need to hang She's out. She's so funny. You and Lena need to talk in London. Like, I know. Can we get a vehicle or something? I'm yeah, bored. I know. I love um, her. But she, as soon as she sat down, took her Apple Watch off. She's like, I can't be on video with this. <laughs> I'm like, <"Hit> it. <laughs> I'm bravely here saying, yeah, I wear an Apple Watch. <laughs> um... <laughs> Wait, so girls. Yeah, I guess. I know, we're being so slow. <laughs> do you always today. talk about the episode or do you always like talk about whatever? It depends on the guests. Like some people are really serious and some are really like, I didn't even want to talk about girls. I just wanted to talk. And we're like, okay. I like either. both. Yeah. Um, but I guess Shoshana, any closing thought? Like, not really. She tries to no, ask for Ray like sh- Oh, the Ray scene. That was a relatable scene where you're like, please, just please, please, please. And it's like, it's for too you, late. Again, yeah. Not- <laughs> relatable for me, I felt. I feel like anytime I've broken up with someone, I very quickly want them back mm. just because they're gone now. Oh, and so I've begged, yeah. for, I've begged for people back many times. And sometimes it doesn't work. I do that every time I'm in a situation ship. But really? we'll see all you have to do with this time, too. How did you decide to be official? Um, 
we were at a New York Fashion Week party and um, we only talked to each other the whole time. Mm. And that's how After you kind of know. After meeting Andrew Andrew, might I add? Do you know who that is? They're the twin DJs in the Bushwick episode of this pod. Uh, oh, yeah. No, I know him. Yeah. Harkness. Yes, yes, yeah, yes. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I met him and then that's the same night I asked my boyfriend to be my boyfriend. That's so beautiful. Yeah, it was at 3 a.m. Show me your boyfriend. Yeah, of course. He's no, really cute. Didn't you say, Mike, will you be my boyfriend? And I will bleep the last name. Yeah, I did. I think using names is really sensual. Yeah. It's so rare. Let's see this cutie patoot. Oh, he's so cutie slash patootie. I know. Aww. It's giving Bush week. It's giving, we're, yeah, of course, we're moving <laughs> six minutes away in Bush week. <laughs> six men. That's heaven. For you now. think? Yeah. Amelia keeps saying we're going to break up, which Who is really scary. Elijah. Who cares? Then you're six minutes away. I know. So far. That's so far. <laughs> in the winter? <laughs> I never thought about like that. Yeah, then you're actually going to be so far from him. <laughs> I love it. Whoa. No, yeah, I guess she's like desperate for control. And we'll never talk about girls. What's AC? AC. No, we should keep going. Okay, okay. I'm okay. Okay, Okay, I'm okay too. I love what Ray says when he goes, you were in such a deep groove of begrudging the success of others. And I was like, that is the groove I have to get out of. As we were talking about earlier. Get into I'm Iowa. feeling better now. Yeah. I should go to Iowa Writers Workshop. You should workshop. go to Iowa Work Girl. No, I, I, don't I actually am school. doing a show and I, I don't believe in grad school either. And I'm doing a show in Iowa. Y'all get tickets. I'm going to Iowa City just in, I think, November 30th. So that's random. That's huge. So random. Wait, how we have Iowa happen? listeners. And maybe? I'm excited for you, of course. It's just random. But that's amazing. I'm planning like a whole little US tour. And so Iowa's going to go ahead and be part of the US. Oh. And I always forget about that, but it's true. Yeah. So shout out. I'm sure we have a listener in Iowa. Shout okay. out to the Go listener. We do, we do have like 10% in Australia. So plug your damn show, girl. Oh my God, please. I'm, I'm leaving Saturday. Oh my God. Have you been there? No. Have you guys been to Australia? No, no. my brother. No, my brother. <laughs> <laughs> I worked no, at a summer period, camp. My brother, period. <laughs> I worked at a summer camp where everybody was from Australia. So I feel like I get it. No, my brother. Is it the um, Jewish one? Yeah, the Jewish one only hired Australian um, 19 year olds. It's all like, Jewish and Australian people? No, it's just like they hire camp counselors from around the world to like teach oh, Jewish right. kids about the world. I don't know. Okay. Oh. Cool. <laughs> I'm sorry. Cut that, Amelia. <laughs> no, I'm excited to go. Yeah, if you guys live in Australia, I'm doing shows in Melbourne, Sydney, and even New Zealand in Auckland. So come through. Yeah, That's you're amazing. Gonna meet Lord. <laughs> I'm going to meet Lord. Holy shit. I wonder oh, if she's going to be blonde. My second week in New York City, I met Lord. That's amazing. Where? <laughs> and I took the worst photo at Babies. Like Babies all right. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. And we you were, were just like, "Hey." And she's like, "Hey, I'm the Lord." Hey, yeah, it was me. Does she have brown hair or blonde? Blonde. Wow. No, brown. Okay. And I took, I'll show you after the world's that, worst photo of a person I need. imaginable. It's almost I love her. I love her. Melodrama is so good. No offense to the other one. What is the other one? Oh, pure Solar heroin. Power? Sunshine in the hair salon or whatever. Oh, pure heroin. And you said it and then I kind of... Or melodrama. No, Wait, what am pure I... Pure heroin's first. We just celebrated a decade of that or whatever. That's shocking. Um, melodrama's the painting one, which I love. Melodrama's the one where it changed oh, yeah, yeah, everyone's yeah. lives forever. Yeah, because she's a liability. <laughs> that was so good. And then the new one was her just so taking, a, taking a minute. And I said, girl, you go take a minute and have fun. I don't like that one that much. You're totally right. No, I liked it because it made me be like, well, I love... Lord and she's happy now so I'll figure out how to be happy so I can like her album and it actually did bring me out of a depression oh that's nice yeah. I more just feel like it's nice when you see a mega superstar artist and you're like oh they can't all be home runs right Right. that is an important lesson that like not everybody wins all the time even though they sometimes do unfortunately that's Miley Cyrus's career but she's all love. super super mega star and I love her so super, much oh my god Dead Pets is one of my favorite albums and it makes no sense she's genie in a bottle I love her. You took the words out of my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> I went to her age once. I wasn't invited, but I was there. Oh, my God. What is her home like? Really nice. The one at our Digest. Is it? It's like a ranch. Five. Yeah. It's like not big. I but don't like know gorgeous. why, but one night I was there and I wanted to, you, ta- I wanted to talk about that. Did you talk to her? No. I, wa- <laughs> I want to make, make this clear. I wasn't invited. I didn't speak to her. 
And that was it. I just looked in her fridge and I left. Wait, did you wear how long were you inside outfit? the house for? Did it feel I don't know, like an hour? Um, no, I looked, everyone was wearing like <laughs> athleisure and I was wearing this giant like bright yellow Ghani dress that looked with like a huge <laughs> pilgrim collar and I was like, I need to go home. I was you like, know, I need to call you my s- Uber. You seem like a New York, like LA doesn't seem to have anything to do with you. It doesn't have anything to do with me. Although I'm going there on Saturday. So in that way. If that changes Wait, things. When are you going to Australia? Well, I'm just going, well, this is the thing is I'm going to Australia from Los Angeles because it's oh. easier. It, oh, it oh. is. You have to go that way. Because of the way world and circle. The way the world circle doesn't make sense, but you do have to go that way. Oh, yeah. That's why maps should be upside down. So we get a different perspective Maps sometimes. should be 3D. Maps should be 3D. Maps should be globe. globe. <laughs> maps, colon, maps. They should be globe. <laughs> I had a coworker that like gave me eight grams of shroom once and convinced me the world was flat and I believed him. For how long? Until, Until now. Until I went home, I guess. Till globe. Till globe. He was so scary. He was like, you need to fight, figure out how to find your own water source. Do you like shrooms? Yeah, they changed everything. Really? Yeah. Would you have a good place to get them? Will you give me the information? We'll grow them. Yeah. <laughs> we can yeah, grow perfect, them for you. We're hoping to grow our own spores in Bushwick. <laughs> I love that. In, I love that in Bushwick. We'll um, oh but, my god, talking about this. No, my I brother. I make kombucha. <laughs> <laughs> no, my brother. <laughs> No, but talk about kombucha You make kombucha? Leather. No. I make oh, kombucha, yeah. but I make kombucha leather, and that's actually part of this episode. Oh, yeah, the Carolina so that was really layer. For me. All of that is no for me. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's a big yes for I me. support you. Mm, I, didn't you give one of my guests kombucha? <laughs> I gave Elsie Fisher scoby. That's true. Love. I know. I hope they're making kombucha in their Hell's Kitchen apartment right now. Love. No, you, when you meet a, a person who's 20 and they're like, I live alone in Hell's Kitchen, I'm like, no. That's a dog. Get out. Interesting. Yeah. But I guess. Everyone's on their t- own path, I guess. I mean, yeah. I guess if you start an A24 film, you can live out anywhere. I guess if you're like Bo Burnham's muse, it's no worries. <laughs> <laughs> oh, is that who? Oh, Elsie yeah, yeah, Fisher. Yeah, 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 yeah. That, girl, that person from eighth grade. I love that movie. They're- me too, but honestly, it like makes me sick to my stomach. I could never see it again. It broke my heart in half. <laughs> yeah. I was walking here and there was this schoolgirl walking by me and then she like walked by some of her friends and I was like, oh my God, are her friends hanging out without her? And then I was like almost crying. That'll happen. It's mm-hmm. too much to be young. Ugh. Oh, would she in a uniform? No, just like with a backpack. Like that, right. Like you could tell they were coming from school. She could just were be going to Were you having fun in school in Texas or not even a little? Yeah, I love everything. Oh, perfect. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, next. I um, just like love everything. Like, I yeah. Like if something's happening, I'm like, you love we it. can make this work. Such <laughs> <laughs> a perfect way to live. I don't know. What do I not love? Mm. I think I don't love things in a moment, and everything in retrospect, I'm like, that was the best time of my life. Of course. Yeah. Rose color goggles. Rose color. Oh my god. <laughs> Rose color. Yeah. I remember the first mo- like semester of college thinking about high school with such rose colored glasses i was like it was perfect there and then i like w- like after six months of being like it was perfect there i'm like it actually sucked yeah who do you look like you're reminding me so much of someone who do people tell you you look like um liz gillis who? who's that she's like the bitch in victorious <gasps> what's that totally um you know that like nickelodeon teen show starring victoria justice ariana grande got her vehicle <laughs> i from have that. to tap out <laughs> <laughs> um you know the girl from two broke girls that one too oh kat dennings yeah. i love yes. her i think I it's love just her. like brunette and looks like mad you guys no. have both brunette blue eyes i know that's really what color eyeliner is that because i was looking at it it's purple and i'm actually afraid to do what b is it liquid <laughs> it's literally smashbox eyeshadow it looks like sponsor Eve. Oh, you use the I, angle I, brush? No way. I lift the <laughs> angle brush to make it wet. Yeah. And then I put it in the eyeshadow, and that way, like, it looks like, because it's like when I do that, it, yeah. it's like, do, do, do. it's duty. Yeah. You're really the only girl alive. What? You're really the only girl alive. I swear to God. Yeah, you're actually perfect for this podcast because Girls is like a show for you specifically. I know. I love it. I need. We need more shows that are interesting. Uh, we've been begging for like a new New York vehicle. What do you guys watch? I mean, and just like that was obviously heaven on earth, most insane program. It's Ju- cool to see what AI can do. Yeah, literally. <laughs> my friend, um, my friend Haley Nauman, do you guys know her? She's an amazing writer. Oh, yeah, we yeah, love her yeah. Substack. She wrote this thing about how like, or she was talking about how all the restaurants on and just like that are really big. She's like, why are they always in the biggest restaurants? Like that's not, how, it's the opposite of how New York is. Oh yeah, they're at Black Pearl they're Place. Always like in the it's big huge. restaurant. Like they're Sorry. always like in Grand Central having dinner. No, you're so all the restaurants the are so film equipment takes up a lot of space, especially on a big Anytime I hear anyone goes to the restaurants and those shows, some of the worst food they've ever had. Really? Yeah, if you have a big restaurant, it's really hard to do quality product, I think. It's too loud. I it's don't like a lot. I need I need more carpet. You 
Right. I need more carpet now. And the, more want, carpet now. <laughs> <laughs> Do you like to eat on top of carpet? I just like to, a restaurant where there's. I like a restaurant where there's like a big rug, so it's not too loud. Mm. I think I don't know about that. I don't like having to speak too loud because I like to protect my instrument. <laughs> Sorry. Um, Do you have olive oil every morning when you wake? No, is that something you've heard about? Um, I think Selena Gomez said it once. Yeah, I've actually. I remember like an American Idol contestant once was like, "I take a shot of olive oil." No, Aww. I've been I've been getting into tea instead of coffee. Oh, that's what do we cool. think? Did you do tea today? Yeah, oh. it just doesn't do it for me. I just do double. Well, today was an amazing day because I didn't have to leave my house till like two, which I love. That's perfect. Yeah, oh, that's the best day ever. When do you guys have to leave your houses? Never. Do you, um, do you guys work from home? Yeah. <laughs> Amazing. You both work here. Uh-huh. Yeah. Wow. Bedroom would keep its different sides. It's kind no, of it's a great apartment. My life's actually perfect because I have my job from LA and so nobody talks to me until noon because of the time diff. Right. So what podcasts do you work on? Do you know Sibling Rivalry with Bob and Monet? Oh, it's so funny. My cousin produces Sibling Revelry. <laughs> oh, the Kate Hudson one? Yeah, that is great. <laughs> that is just like... I was like, you don't work on that because my cousin does that. You're That's, a liar. I'm Allison. That's so funny. Um, amazing. And then what's your job? I do social media freelancing more and more every day. Amazing. Yeah. It's so kind of newer. So that's why y'all's TikToks are so good. We're trying our best the way TikTok wants to kill us now. I why? think the market is saturated. And now unless you have high qual studio, people will scroll immediately. I know. Um, really quick before we dive into the two other segments we have left. <laughs> Oh, can we talk about Jessa what? trying to kill someone? Jessa. Well, I feel like we did. I guess Wait, at the what? beginning. Any closing words on Jessa's whole deal? No, I wasn't really invested in that. It's like, I think it's so good that BD is going to teach Jessa that she should have a will to live. And that's going to really set season four off on the right foot for Jessa. I know. I start falling asleep. Only because having having approached this with no context, having not watched it in years, I was just like, okay, well, that's obviously not the most interesting part. Yeah. For me personally, but shout out. It's kind of a weak they had to give her something. for a finale, though. It's like, what else did she finish on? It's like, yeah. she kills someone or like, I get that it's like, job. metaphory, which is special. Right. Yeah. Do you think Lena's just... tired? No. No, she can keep going. She's, <laughs> she, she's busy, though. She's dating Jack Antonoff during this season because last episode, wow. Desi and, and she's Marty. she's a married woman. I know. How beautiful. It can happen. I love fun the band. <laughs> um, is he in some that? Some nights I up. Let the <laughs> Wait, is Jack Antonoff fun? No. Yeah. He yeah. is? Yeah. Wait, right? Yeah, and oh, Bleachers or I thought something? he's Bleachers. He's I both. Think it's both. He can do... And the format. I loved the format. When I moved from um, Texas oh. to LA, I had a little Fiat from high school and Aww. I packed all my belongings. My parents were like, do you want our help? And I was like, no, I have to find myself. And so I drove across the country That's alone beautiful. in a Fiat, listening exclusively to Jack Antonoff music. That's a one-woman show, a yeah. jukebox musical. I was inspired because I had just read Abby Jacobson book where she was depressed and drove across the country. And I was like, oh, it sounds perfect. It's oh your wild. <laughs> it's my wild. I was Reese for one for one, two days. I've never seen her red wild. Really? I, I feel like it'd know. be so big for you. Really? I, I like, like she did hike? Dear Sugar, right? Cheryl Strayed. Oh, right. So this, yeah. we're not familiar with this product. Okay. It's really good. Dear, Dear Sugar. Sugar. Isn't that like it's a good like advice? Wait, am I mixing it up with something? It's sibling revelry. We'll, we'll, <laughs> we'll, we'll circle back. <laughs> love Fabletics. It's for the way you look at Wait, me. Wait, what does Fab Lags have to do with it? Kate, Kate Hudson. Hudson. <laughs> oh, I always did that. Kate Hudson. You it's know, I'm banned, by a celebrity. I'm banned because I kept doing the thing where I join by like two years worth of product and then leave oh, I my forgot membership. Banned membership. from what? Fabletics.com. Is it good? Well, it's just like cool to get fun. Um, is it? Wait, what is the deal with it? Is it membership? You know what? We don't need to get The only membership right. I've been tempted by is I really want some of that Fenty lingerie yeah is that oh yeah it's also monthly is that membership yeah. yeah oh god no, no. they no, were, people i don't know if they still it. are but they used to be membership anyways whatever. this girl i used to work for that was like 20 was like um had a year-long sponsorship with them and the way i was like this is porn babe they are making you do crazy stuff for being just a little girl i'll do that yeah, yeah I, I want to sell out. I want to do porn. I don't care. <laughs> I want to be rich in a house. You should have OnlyFans, but like you don't have to do much on it. <laughs> I just sit and like yeah. drink tea. <laughs> I feel fun. like people would buy it. Yeah, you never know. Yeah, um, there's something for everything. there's something for everyone. Girl, get your Glock. It's, it's rapid, rapid fire, fire time. time. Scary. Did you bring your gun? 
<laughs> no, um, it's, yeah. maybe, it's maybe a little too. Should we change it? Yeah, maybe it's too maybe poignant next, with the with Bates College. Yeah, yeah. It's yeah. Getting really sad. Okay, um, girl, get your fun time. We're gonna have fun, <laughs> girl. Get your fun time. We're gonna have fun. <laughs> What's happening, girls? We're gonna ask you so many questions, and you could just say whatever. Use you your feel. improv background. No offense. <laughs> are you a Ready? school girl or are you getting schooled, girl? I'm a school girl. What's your favorite utensil? <laughs> Fork. <laughs> are you the voice of your generation or a voice of a generation? The. It's grad school. The answer. No. <laughs> <laughs> Would you murder someone if they begged? No. Where did you get your iced tea pitcher? <laughs> Upstate. <laughs> what would make you do a little jig? Oh my god! Anything. A cool breeze. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what are the best type of M and M's? Oh, that's regular. A good and what do you guys think? Ooh, I, I, the I love the peanut butter ones. I hate the pretzel. those. Love those. Love. My you mom know- actually created those. Shut the fuck up. She worked on the creation what of it. What do you it. mean your mom created pretzel m and I'm Wait, sorry. Her mom Big. can be a guarantor for our apartment because she is rich from owning a brand naming She business. also told me to say she's not rich. Wait, what does she your does mom comfortably. do? She does She says brand brands. innovation. So she said, what about pretzel? So she names brands and also does product innovation. So she's working at m M&M then. And they were she working on She sounds incredible. On My mom is incredible. She posted on LinkedIn last week and I sobbed. I was like, women are so strong. They are. Who is your hero because of their music as well as the honest way they live their life? Oh my God, that was such a good line. Um, Mrs. Swift. Yeah. And could your mom feel the labia forming? Mm. (laughs) I don't think so. (laughs) And and lastly, what does bi-coastal mean to you? Oh my God. It's Iowa. It means like I know that it's Los Feliz. Do you know Ooh. what I mean? I sold there. Vermont. Ah. Yeah. I keep- oh, wait. Oh, it's part of LA. Yeah. I thought it was a different liquor brand. I was like, that's no, a really interesting No, it's like people answer. are like, it's Los Feliz. And you're like, okay. That's <laughs> okay. Yeah, what does that mean? It's like, they're like, it's Highland Park. It's Eagle Rock. It's like, okay. Yeah. It's Miley Cyrus's that's where people house. Are, it's Miley Cyrus's house. That's where people are living. <laughs> this is where people are living. Yeah, I used to see so many Grey's Anatomy cast members on the street. Is that true? Wow. Isn't everyone in Grey's Anatomy, though? Yeah. Yeah. At least I if you're in LA. I would be open to being in that show. That would be so funny. <laughs> to I, pop in season 20. I really want to be on a sitcom. Yeah. Wait, manifest. Aren't you in one or something? Yeah. Stay tuned. Perfect. Okay. Our last <laughs> segment of the podcast. That's Australia. Me praying. <laughs> yeah, we're like, sorry. And we just took a 20 minute break to cry. Um, <laughs> but we're feeling really good. The last segment is, you want to say it with me? Oh, I know. I feel bad. I feel like you, I made you do all the work this episode. No, it's okay. She's uh, such a good... Uh, y'all I'm are the luckiest it. person alive. Aww. That outfit in Brooklyn? Sorry, it's like in my boyfriend's Instagram account. This is, <laughs> this is a segment where we compare Brooklyn and the show to Brooklyn now, and you will have to pretend you know about Brooklyn now, That's even though you're sense. West Village. I know about Brooklyn. Okay, perfect. A little bit. Prove it. Yeah. My, my boyfriend lives there. Yeah, perfect. Over where? In Bushwick. Your boyfriend's in Bushwick? Yeah. Wait, we're about doing neighbors with your boyfriend. Yeah. Is he by Maria Hernandez? Yeah, he's Sorry like, is he to. by? He's by, no, <laughs> he's not really. Are you by now? I don't know. No, I don't know. <laughs> I like everyone. It'd be I like cool everything. cool if you came out on this podcast. It'd be <laughs> <been cool. laughs> Are you by now? <laughs> <laughs> the last segment. That's one threesome. <laughs> <laughs> um, no, I'm... He lives off. I'm. I feel straight. My boyfriend lives off the. <laughs> what is it called? Her, oh, Halsey, Wilson. No. The, what's the one that's both? Oh, Myrtle Wyckoff. Yeah, he lives at Myrtle Wyckoff. Oh. oh, we almost lived there, and it was too scary. No offense to your boyfriend. I don't like. Not it, no too offense. scary. It's just like you literally can't get there. It's. I don't love that he lives there, but his place is nice. Oh my god, the places are. We were gonna live in this house that was actually gonna be too big if we lived there because it, it, that's the, how nice the places are there. But it was truly it too big. It had four bathrooms, and I was like, we're. we're and six sinks. Six sinks? I can't even say that. I know. Sadie Sink? <laughs> Is your subletter? <laughs> Is that your vocal? Yeah, I know. The sink was going to get in the way. Oh, yeah. There's one just like in the living room. And we're like, well, we would want to turn this into our professional podcast <laughs> studio with yeah, the sink. Yeah. I want a bathtub it. in my kitchen. Wait, you I can need. Achieve Wait, Marnie kind of has that because she's shower and bedroom. Oh, yeah, <laughs> that is a sad sight. 
Was there anything in this episode that you were like, that would never happen now, that only happened because it was 2013? That's a fun question. Um, well, I was going to say grad school. I know we talked about it earlier, but like grad school in the last 10 years, I think has shifted so much. Like the value of a degree from a grad program is like everyone. And now it's like the only people who go to grad school are the ones you're like worried for. You're not like, oh my God, this is a huge opportunity. It's like you need to do something. Yeah. Are, yeah. All love to people in grad school if we're bullying you. I guess I agree. Although I, I do know like Iowa, Iowa writers no, that's such different. a big deal. That's yeah. different, of course. I feel like that probably still is a That's massivo. a workshop. Yeah. Okay. Um, what else? But it's like all my friends that I with all l- care my heart, but um, that do what's it called? Actually, I don't care. <laughs> <laughs> I wrote down the Olivia Wilde eye makeup. Oh magazine my god! Clipping. Yes, yes. That was so fun. And Lena making her cat oh, eyes somehow down here. It's like, so cute. How did so she get an arrow like that? It was really cool. We're all just so pure. Like everyone, just like when I think about how everyone wants to like look good and dress up, it makes me feel so pure of heart. Same. No, literally, I also don't think that Broadway play would ever be on Broadway right now. Major Barbara? Like, everything is, like, <laughs> Major Barbara. Major Barbara. Like, everything is Disney spinoff right now. That's, That's what it so feels real. like. It's like you don't have anything which I think with, is valid or parade. I saw I Aladdin like. on Broadway when I was 16 here, and I have not gone one day without thinking about the magic I felt in my heart. Oh, wow. <laughs> which That's is crazy. Cool. I didn't know it was possible. That's Do you beautiful. like Broadway? I love Broadway. I want to be on it. You should you call should. them when the time is right. Oh, the polka dot leggings. Of oh, I wrote down the same thing. The That's polka Shoshana dot Ward. leggings. It's what was that place called? Who's wearing those? Shoshana. 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 Oh, she's running because she's like, what? Oh. What was that Ponzi scheme that was a legging company? Oh my god. Oh, what the fuck was it called? Lula Row. Lula Row. That's a great doc. That's such a great. Doc. I know a girl from camp who worked for them. <gasps> of course you do. Um. <laughs> <laughs> the wrong. <laughs> I feel like assisted. Did you buy leggings hacker? from her? No, I don't. <laughs> I don't. Overlap. I don't. But. Yeah, but you go to the thrift store, you actually will always. I was in Beacons on Thursday day and I saw a pair of Lula Rose leggings. That's so spooky. Isn't that so spooky. It is Halloween time. It's Halloween time. What are you guys doing for Halloween? Okay, does Halloween actually suck Halloween's this year? Really yeah, scary. it's not real anymore. What last happened? night at the show, I was like, are y'all excited? No one cheers. No one says they're dressing up. I, I don't know. I haven't done something since like pre pandemic. I haven't talked to anybody who feels excited for this weekend. I used. I feel like, yeah, it's like post-pandemic. Also, I'm in a relationship. It's just different when you're like, I'm single. I want to fuck. I want to wear a stupid wig and like mm-hmm. no, flop around. No, there's actually no parties. Like we went to a party last year in a penthouse. Worst. And Why the, worst? Well, because it's actually no Why one not was there. Best? Oh. No one was there. It was in a penthouse that the person's. We did this? Yeah, Most parties Tia's aren't party. fun. We have to remember. Most parties aren't fun. Oh my God. Be I careful if you do coke. I don't understand that you were having so much fun in your mid twenties without every drugs night and afraid of drugs. Like, make I would just sense. I would just drink too much and then uh, some Adderall. Mm. Oh, Adderall oh, is Adderall's always really fun. And I used to like there was like a phase for like two months where I would like smoke a cigarette, but I'm really yeah. against that now. People are really into that now. Well, you have yeah, no wrinkles, really so thank God you stopped. I don't. You really don't. That's nice. I was just wondering when am I going to do a boat? Well, we see thirty year olds every day in the town. Uh, where? It- and not often, everywhere. but there's a good amount. Where do you see them? I never met a 30-year-old before moving to New York City, and now I know so many. Oh, that At makes open sense. Mics. Actually, a lot of pe- people that do open mics are in their 30s. Which nobody talks about. It's like all, the, <laughs> it's all these people who secretly did UCB for six years to no avail and then post I need like, so much more information from y'all. I feel like we have so much to talk about. Well, um, that's well, what After the Pod's for. Let's close out the podcast. Okay, thank you so much for having me. Um, <laughs> <laughs> bye I'm getting water I'm getting water um, guys that's our episode we'll be back next week with a season recap I hope you live laugh love and I did fun. I had the best this is the best time of my whole life God bless oh, yes. <gasps> wait I just got invited to a Halloween party okay no way, no everything changed that's perfect bye, bye. bye.